back to my channel. Welcome back. This week I'm going to be talking about my summer favorites. I can't believe that summer's over already. It went by so fast. This year in general I feel like it's going by faster than any year ever. It's kind of crazy, but it's also kind of cool, but it's kind of weird, it's kind of scary. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> but September is coming up, quickly approaching, so I just wanted to share with you guys my favorite products from the summer that I use the most and that I was the most excited about. If you are also feeling a little bittersweet about summer ending but fall beginning, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in seeing any more of my videos, they're all about fashion and food and beauty in San Francisco, go ahead and subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And I post new videos every single Sunday. You can also go ahead and subscribe to my blog through your email just by hitting the link down below. It's www.shesmilesallday.com slash subscribe. And we should definitely be friends. Go ahead and add me on my Instagram. It is at she smiles blog. Yes, at she smiles blog. Got it. That's everything I have to share with you. Ignore my sad little stub of a nail. It broke. Had to saw it down. Gonna go get them done right after this video, actually. So sorry that I'm not perfect. Woo! All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy. Bye. All right. So my first beauty favorite of the summer has definitely got to be my glow kit in Gleam. <laughs> I have been reaching for this every single day since I got it at the beginning of the summer. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I cannot say enough good things about it. Um, all of her highlighters are, as we all know, gorgeous. Everything she does is perfect. Everything that brand is is just flawless, slaying it. Always 100%. Um, my favorite, as you can probably tell because they're straight hit pan, is Crushed Pearl. Love it. Gorgeous. And then I also really got into Mimosa. I kind of was like, ooh, it's too dark for me. I'm so pale. I look so scary and orange. But actually, it adds a really nice warmth and kind of almost like a bronzy highlight. So I loved this palette so much. It's really pretty for a lighter skin tone, but I honestly, it would probably look fantastic on anyone. It just has this really pretty kind of vanilla cool toned effect to it. It's just very eye catching. It's my favorite thing to use. I feel myself feeling a little reluctant to grab anything else because nothing really quite compares to this crushed pearl. So all time favorite. Not wearing it today, but I will be reaching for it immediately tomorrow because I feel like I've betrayed. So pretty. My second beauty favorite from the summer is Give Me Sun from MAC. It is a mineralized skin finish. It is obviously the old packaging. I've had this one for a while, but I always reach for this one during the summer um, instead of my go-to favorite, which is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, but this one has just like a really subtle bronze to it. It's nice. It looks very glowy. It looks very sun-kissed. I mean, it's in the name, which is nice, especially for me because I'm so fair. It's really easy for bronzers to look like a big orange patch on me, and it's not not cute, it's not good. <laughs> so this is a really nice alternative if you are fair and you're looking for something that's not going to look too orange but also is going to have that really nice bronzy glow that we all want. So I definitely recommend this one. I loved it for the summer. I'm probably going to retire it now that we're getting into fall just because I like something a little bit more matte during the fall months. I like to do a little bit of a light contour but yes. Love it. Love it. My last beauty favorite from the summer is one that I discovered about halfway through and it is my new favorite way to put on my foundation. If you entered my giveaway, you already know what I'm talking about and it is this amazing oval brush. It's fantastic. I got a whole set which I also gave away and I'm obsessed with these ones. I love them so much. Um, these ones are fantastic and the reason why I love it so much is because it's so dense and the way it applies on your skin it's just so smooth so flawless and so fast that's what I love about it it takes me like half the time that it does with a normal brush or with a beauty blender to blend it all in and it doesn't look streaky it honestly pushes it, the product into your skin so well while still being able to move it around I feel like with other products I have to really kind of um, I don't know like push the product myself I do a lot of bouncing on the skin versus smoothing, which can take a lot longer, but obviously you don't want to have a streaky, weird looking finish. Nobody wants that. But this one does not do that, and I can still get it done so much easier by applying it in circular motions, and it's done so fast. 
and then I use these smaller ones as well. I use this medium sized one for under my eyes for that concealer and then I use this one actually for any kind of cream contour I do. It makes the skinniest line and then I kind of just brush upwards and it blends it out beautifully. They're so versatile. It comes in a bunch of other sizes that I got too. But these are the three that I've been using the most this summer and I love them. All right, so I have a few fashion favorites. The first one is dun dun dun. I feel like you won't be surprised if you've been following my blog at all, but I'm obsessed with the sneaker trend, specifically my white sneakers. The pair was actually only $10 from Forever 21. So inexpensive, and I've been wearing them all summer. Pretty easy to keep them white. Um, there's tons of information online too to keep your white shoes looking bright and clean. That is not a good example. I was wearing them for the last few weeks, and I have not washed them, so they're looking pretty dirty but really easy to maintain and clean, um, easier than you would think. So they just go with everything. I love wearing them with dresses. I'm obsessed with my trend, hands down my favorite trend of the summer. I love them. It just takes anything that's really fun and feminine and a little bit dressier and it dresses them down so you can wear them anywhere. It makes you look cool, a little bit edgy, also casual. It's just, it's my obsession. I love white sneakers. My second fashion favorite from the summer was my denim jacket. I love this jacket so much. I got it at H&M, super expensive, it was like $30, and I've always wanted one, and I've had one in the past, but I think I've mentioned this before, then I lost it and I didn't have it, now I have it again. But the reason why I love it so much is that it's kind of similar to the shoes in that it can turn any look into something more casual, more summer appropriate. It's lightweight, it's comfortable, it hits me perfectly. I like the length. I mean this with the white sneakers, with any kind of cute maxi dress, you're done. You're done! Easy. It definitely had its best life during the summer. My final fashion favorite from the summer was... The mini... The mini... I just got hit in the face. The mini bag! Woo! I was loving the mini bag this summer. It was just so much easier to create looks with them. Because during the summer I feel like everything is about being easy and casual and sun-kissed and glowy and fast fashion and just something effortless and mini bags give you that versatility because they're small you can take them anywhere and this one I love because it actually holds quite a bit this one I got from Francesca's super cute very on trend with the fringe this one is probably my favorite of the three that I was rotating out this one from Henry Bendel you saw in all my posts because I was wearing it all the time every day and it actually also holds quite a bit in there and then I also really love this clutch style mini bag for going out it was like the perfect animal print neutral and doesn't hold quite as much but it has a pocket up here which made it actually pretty easy to take there's just something so much easier and so much appealing during the summertime um, about just grabbing a small bag throwing in a couple essentials phone wallet lip gloss like whatever and then you're out the door and it was just my favorite way to accessorize My skincare favorite of the summer was dun dun dun, this Bior. Is it Bior or is it Bior A? That is the question. I call it Bior. Ooh, sorry. Uh, but it's the baking soda cleansing scrub. I'm obsessed with this. I say obsessed a lot, but I mean it. I don't use that word lately. I love this. And the reason why I love it so much is that it does such an amazing job of exfoliating your face. And it's so fast because comes out if you look at the I don't know if you can see through I'm almost out of it actually but it's an actual powder you pour it into the palm of your hand like a dime size amount I do a little bit more because I'm crazy and then you add water and it'll start to get really sudsy but it still exfoliates it just doesn't feel too harsh but it really feels like it's getting in there but it will dissolve so it doesn't you don't over scrub and I kind of thought that sounded silly but it's true it really does and all of a sudden it's gone and your face feels so clean so fresh and it really turned around my skin. I am prone to breakouts and I'm constantly trying new products just to keep it clear. And this one cleared up my skin so fast. I've had nothing but good skin days ever since. This has been a savior for me. If you have really sensitive skin, I would probably recommend using it two to three times a week just so you're not over exfoliating and causing any irritation or stripping it. Um, and I also recommend if you're using it every day or just a few times a week to definitely do a heavy moisturization. <laughs> Thing afterwards I use my moisturizer immediately after I get out of the shower when I use this um, and I do only use it once a day I use it in the morning in the shower I don't use it twice a day because it could be a, potentially a little bit harsh so just a tip from me I have two 
books that I loved this summer and I really enjoyed reading. Um, but I shouldn't say reading because I use them on Audible, which I'm obsessed with. I recommend it. They're not sponsoring this video. I just personally use it and really enjoy it. Anyway, so the first book that I loved this summer was called Girl Code. I will read the full title. Girl Code, Unlocking the Secrets to Success, Sanity, and Happiness for the Female Entrepreneur. My camera died, so I went and got my nails done, and now I'm back. So the lighting is different. Sorry. Um, but where was I? So the book I was mentioning before my camera died and I left to get my nails done was called Girl Code and it's by Kara Owl Liba and I hope I'm saying that right. But it's basically all about how to treat other women with dignity and respect while still being a great businesswoman yourself. I thought it was really inspiring and I just love anything having to do with female empowerment and bringing each other up versus bringing each other down. So I thought it was a great read. She's really funny and clever and just an interesting person. So I really liked it. Listening to it was really easy. I finished it in just a few days because I was enjoying it so much. So I definitely encourage you to check that one out. She has a blog called thechampagnediet.com. You should definitely visit that as well. I'm going to link it in the down bar below because everything she posts on there is super inspirational and just girly and feminine, but also really good um, savvy business advice as well. So highly recommend. The second book that I actually just finished up and that I also really loved was called Rich Bitch, A Simple 12-Step Plan for Getting Your Financial Life Together. Finally! It's by Nicole Lappin, and again, I thought the title was really funny. I love books like that that are kind of like self-help, but also just um, teach you real skills and teach you about things you don't know about, and I wanted to just get my financial life together because, as you can probably tell, I have a serious shopping problem. But the book was super informative, it was really easy to listen to, she's also very funny, she curses the whole time, which I enjoy. Um, but she gives you real life advice in terms of your personal finances and investing and retirement and all of that stuff that sounds really boring and not fun at all, but she makes it really fun and she makes it really easy to learn the basics. So I highly recommend it. I just finished it two days ago and I love it. But I'm gonna list all of those down below and I'll link Audible as well just so you can guys check it out. Highly recommend both of those options. They were really easy reads and I got through them really quickly. All right, that was the last of it. Those were all of my summer favorites from 2016. Like I said, years going by so fast. Where has time gone? All right, guys, I will see you next Sunday, and you're definitely going to want to watch that video because at the end, I announce a very exciting announcement. Hint, hint, might be another giveaway. So definitely stay tuned for next Sunday, and I will see you then. Bye.